Hi, my name is Henry Bernard. I'm one of the assistant professionals here at Banbury Golf Course. I'm a PGA associate, and today we're going to be going over one of the most common rules that we have here, uh, which is rule 16.1, which is dropping uh, from a cart path or an immovable obstruction. Now, the reason why this is such a common rule here is because of one of our holes here. This is number nine here at Banbury Golf Course. It's a, about a, a medium length par four, but all the way on the right hand side here, we have this cart path and because we have water over on the left hand side a lot of players will tend to hit to the right hand side so what will tend to happen is that players will end up finding their ball if they hit toward the right hand side on this car path now the difference between most car paths here and other courses is that we have more of a dirt car path versus a concrete or an asphalt car path so i'm going to explain the difference here in a second but right now i'm going to go over uh, the actual ruling for if we find this ball here on the car path uh, first, the first thing you have to identify is if it is your ball, and that is indeed my ball. Second thing that we need to do is to identify uh, which side we need to drop from, which is the closest point of relief for the drop. So I am a left-handed golfer, so first I will identify that, all right, right here, this is where I would be uh, playing if I would be off of the right-hand side of the car path, very close to my golf ball, and then I would come over here to the other portion of the car path. And I could definitely tell that on the right hand side, I am definitely closer. Uh, so that's my closer point of relief, so I will drop from there. Now, the rule is, is that I will have to drop from a from my stance, from my club and stance, and then one club length beyond my stance. So what I'll do here is I'll put a tee right behind my back heel. I'll take one club, you can pick any club you'd like, make sure it's one club length no closer to the hole with stance distance. I have that now marked off. I am now eligible to pick up my ball and I will drop from knee height, one club length, no closer to the hole. And right there, my ball is now in play. I am free to hit at the green. Um, if, if a player does not want to drop, uh, they, can, they are allowed to play from the car path that is allowed and the difference between the, con the uh, path that we have here versus a concrete and asphalt path is that sometimes it's hard to tell where the path ends. Uh, how we differentiate that here based off of a concrete or an asphalt car path is the coloring. Once you start to see grass growing, that's when you can start to tell that the path has ended where the color has officially shifted. Uh, thank you so much. And again, my name is Henry Bernard, assistant professional here at Banbury Golf Course.